Greetings, Board of Education and members of the community. I am Sarah Chaya Clarity, the Director of Secondary for Teaching, Learning, and Equity, along with Phil Fry, our Director of Business and Finance, here to present on our Situation and Recommendations Report on student fees. To begin with, we will review our student fee schedule. We have a procedure here, procedure JNR, which calls for a student list of fees to be presented to the school board for approval no later than December 31st annually, uh, which is why we're bringing this forward at this time. We are making some changes uh, this year, and so we want to be sure that our community understands the changes as well as the rationale for why we're moving forward with these changes um, at this time. So an audit of budgeting revenue and expenditures across all of our secondary schools for the past several years has led to a new and improved practice for secondary fee assessments that we are bringing forward to begin in the 23-24 school year. That change is that beginning in the 23-24 school year, middle school students will be assessed a flat fee of $20 and high school students will be assessed a flat fee of $40. That means any student in grades 6, 7, or 8 would pay a one-time fee of $20 regardless of the courses they take and any high school student in grades 9 through 12 would pay a one-time fee of $40 for any courses that they take across that year. There are some except, exceptions that we will share with you um, in just a few moments. We are going to continue to allocate our school budgets on a pure, pure pupil basis, uh, and the overall amount allocated to sites will not be reduced due to the changes in how the fees are calculated. School budgets will still receive um, uh, the amount that they would have received to be able to cover the materials and fees uh, for their courses to run. As in the past, funds will be distributed across department by principals. Principals set their budget annually, review um, the expenditures, and then work with departments to allocate funds according to need. That part of the process will not change. So to, to kind of dig into our fees over time, we did a historical fee assessment, and this was a collaboration between the business office and the teaching, learning, and equity department. We know that we collect sixth through 12th grade fees uh, for students when they enroll in courses as a way to offset the cost of consumable materials and also uh, for club athletics and activities at the secondary level. So there's fees for academics and then there's fees for athletics and activities. Up until now, student fees vary greatly depending on the cost of the course. Most secondary course fees range from $5 to $35. So uh, any course, I believe we had about 97 different courses with fees associated with them on our secondary course guides. And typically the courses that align to the fine arts, career and technical education, um, those are fees, have higher fees associated with them. So we know that students and their families who have passions, talents, and interests aligned with these career clusters are typically at a higher economic burden than other students who do not take this breadth of classes. An audit of our academic fees over the past four years showed that residual monies collected from fees that went unspent averaged $32,137.75 per year after the fee waiver requests have been processed and subtracted from the overall revenue. So another way to say that is we assess the fees for the courses, we collect the money, we subtract the amount of fee waivers, and we um, at that time still had on average over $30,000 each year for the past four years that was unspent. And so we looked at a, a different way of calculating fees moving forward. So beginning in the 23-24 school year, as I said, middle school students will be assessed a flat fee of $20 and high school students will be assessed a flat fee of $40. That fee amount was done through our study by finding the average fee a middle school student pays now. So the average fee right now that our sixth through eighth graders pay is $32.37. Right. right now, the average fee that a high school student pays is $80.20. So we looked at those averages and we wanted to make sure that we subtracted the residual unspent money because we're seeing year over year that that's going unspent. So we reduced that overall fee, the $32.37, the $80.20, uh, to better align with the actual expenditures that were spent across the past several years. So the following list of courses are courses that are currently charging a fee 
and will not be charging a fee any longer separate from the flat fee. So PE, Family and Consumer Education, Tech Ed, Art Fundamentals, Young Living at Sixth Grade, PE, Family and Consumer Education, Tech Ed, Teens in Action, Art Discovery, Technology and Education at Seventh Grade, PE, Lock Fee, particularly at Central Heights, Art Classes, Family and Consumer Education, Tech Ed, Managing Me at Eighth Grade. At sixth through eighth grade currently, the music courses have individual different shirts uh, and a different fee associated with depending if you're taking a band class, an orchestra class, um, and what grade you're at. So we are changing that and not having an individual shirt fee for the different courses across middle school. And at high school, we are also taking away the separate above and beyond fee for music apparel, PE, locks, biology class field trip, art classes, tech ed classes, family consumer education classes, architecture, current affairs, and home construction. So again, in aggregate, we are taking away 97 individual fees for courses um, and moving to this flat fee. As noted, there are exceptions to this yearly flat fee. They're minimal, um, but they're captured in the student fee schedule that's attached. Another change is with our club fees. So club fees for students in sixth through 12th grade will now be assessed a $5 per club fee instead of the flat fee that they've had of $10. So all students were charged $10 in the past. Now we're moving towards assessing a $5 per club fee. Athletic fees for middle school are also um, seeing a change in that that change is being changed to $15 per sport instead of a flat $26 fee. At present, the high school athletic fees will remain the same for the 23-24 school year. Bill? Yep, thanks, Sarah. And Sarah did a great job. So what I'm gonna say is that repeating that, but uh, I'll go through this. So there's, as Sarah said, there is gonna be some fee variances. Um, we have that flat fee that we mentioned, $20 for middle school, $40 for high school. But there is going to be some things that there still is a fee. Uh, AP exams is one of them. You can see there's a, just a slight dollar increase there. Uh, club fee, she talked about, we're doing that. It's going to be a lot more easier for parents. Uh, right now, the $10 for club fee, is op it says it's optional and people don't know if they should do it or not. And we're just going to do it uh, if you sign up for a student council and student council club, you're going to see a $5 fee on that. And every it's just going to be a lot easier to do through Infinite Campus. Same thing for sixth through eighth grade uh, athletics. Again, it's $26 for the year. Um, we're going to a $15 per sport. Again, if they sign up for girls basketball through Infinite Campus, it'll be show up that way. It's gonna be a lot simpler for parents. Typically, uh, if you went out for one sport, obviously you'd save a little bit of money. If you went out for two sports at middle school, it'd be a little bit more, but uh, again, easier for parents. Sixth through eighth grade uh, music shirt uniform. Um, quite a bit of change here. If they went out for different musicals and different grades, they had to buy different shirts every year and for different music versus choir and orchestra. There's just now going to be a $24 one-time middle school fee for a music shirt uniform. And if we need to explain more of that, we can do that at the board meeting. Um, and then we talked about the $20 per year for just a materials consumable fee at the middle school level, $20 and $40 uh, at the ninth through 12th grade level. So um, just again, just the first bullet again, just re it's, again, it should be a lot easier for parents. Um, it's now they maybe have a student that has maybe five fees, one for art, one for face, one for lock fee. Again, that that's going away. Those 97 uh, classes that had fees is going away and we'll just have a flat fee of $20 and $40. And I should say, uh, we did do a lot of research on this with GPI and with other Dane County districts and we're kind of the exception the way we are now. Most districts have gone this kind of flat fee um, years ago. So we'll, we'll be with most of Dane County districts at this point. Um, and again, we talked about there are some fees that they're still going to be out there that fee schedule is attached. We talked about the club fee and I kind of said why that's going to be easier for parents to understand. Um, right now, again, it's $10 flat fee for the year. We're going to a $5 per club fee. And again, that would be just show up on Infinite Campus. Uh, same thing for athletics. Again, um, I mentioned how that. But I should mention that we do have things or uh, what's called a fee waiver process. And we've had that process in place for many years and that process will still be in place. And um, 
and so that's not changing. So students that maybe are on free and reduced or feel that uh, for other reasons they need their fee waived, they can go through that process. And again, that process has not changed and we'll continue to do that. So um, for, I'll say thank you. I don't know, Sarah, if you wanna have any closing comments, but no, we're, uh, I think we're just saying thanks. We think both the business office and TLE thinks this is a great direction for the school district and, for, and especially for our parents, it's gonna be again, simpler and I think a lot easier to under, understand. Yeah, I agree. And I uh, thank you and thank you to our business department for doing the research uh, to move us to this place. We look forward to answering any questions that you may have at the board meeting on November 21st. Take care.